Yes. <laughs> This is my sweet. Gone with the wind. With a suitcase? It is a very long film. I am taking sandwiches. Oh, I know this is on your mind. Take me with you. Oh, we vet. Dear brave we vet. It's too dangerous. If you are caught with me, you will be shot. I am the most wanted man in France. Well, where are you going? It is better that you do not know. I must know. Give me a little instant. Oh, very well. Cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Switzerland, the train leaves any minute. <laughs>
judge cheeses, I will not have them in the house. Mm, too late, I'll show them. <laughs> we will force them when we want them. Now, now look, Do not drib them, otherwise they may go off bomb. <laughs> now look, I mean, why is it? Excuse them, moi. See this? It looks exactly like a cigar box. Yes, it does. What is it? A cigar box. <laughs> Inside are hidden the detonators. They are made to look exactly like cigars. Now look, Michelle, why do you not blow up people somewhere else? I mean, if you blow him up here, everyone will be shot for miles around. Do you not want to save the world? Do you not want your name to go down in history? I'd rather read history than be history. Are you with us or against us, sir? Is that loaded? Every chamber is full of <coughs> That's a terrible thing to say to an hotel owner. <laughs> oh, very well then, I am with you. Good. We will collect the cheeses and the detonators when we know which train Hitler is on. <coughs> Come, we will disappear like phantoms into the night. There is no need to go like phantoms into the newt. Remember, we are policemen. Follow me and remember to swarm your trenchon. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeses. Oh, well, that's how it goes in wartime France. <laughs> oh, hello, hello. This is London Calling. London Calling London. Have you a message for me? Have you a message for me? Yeah, yes, and I have a message for you. Get stuffed. <laughs> And 
I wish to present to him personally, but before I go any further, he will make a brief stop at Nubion, where he will congratulate me on my command. And I wish to present to him the present portrait of the former Madonna with the big boobies. <gasps> what a good idea! Oh, Hitler will be pleased. It is also my to you give me a bell. <laughs> I think a certainty. So, you will ensure that my bell and my medals are polished until they are like glass. Oh, yes. Especially my boots. Oh, yes, Herr General. Oh, what wonderful leather. Yes, and uh, <laughs> do not forget to oil my spare leg. I do not wish to squeak in front of Hitler. Oh, well, who does? <laughs> See to it. Yes, Herr General. Hi, Hitler. Hi, Hitler. Ooh. <laughs> Schmeling a small metal, and those trying to depart, and we will disappear into the night. And where will we go? 
We will sell the paintings and disappear to South America, where we will live on wild berries and make love in a bamboo hut on a bed of pumice glass, wearing only banana leaves. <laughs> <laughs> However, I need to know the date of Hitler's train in order that I may activate my plan. That is where you come in to find this out from the colonel and the captain. It will be a top military secret. They will not tell one of such a low rank as I. Then you must use your feminine violence. I try officers are notoriously susceptible to advances from females, especially Bertorelli. You will take him into the back wall of the cinema. But Herr Flick, he is a Latin. I'm brandy with it. <laughs> he may place his hand on my knee, or even higher. <laughs> I have thought of this, Helga. Here is a Gestapo suspender belt. <laughs> Who did the Adolf impersonations? 
you write, me a bigger success, but I see the bigger the problem. <laughs> if I am dressed as Hitler, and Hitler is dressed as Hitler, how will he know which painting to Hitler to give the painting? Well, I have it all covered. <clears throat> what I should do is, uh, I shall obtain a staff car, we shall tell von Schmelling that Hitler is to come one day early. I shall get the correct insignia flag and fly it, and well, it will be dark. What happens when the real Hitler turns up? Ah, that is in what I have that covered as well. We shall blame it on the resistance, and we shall shoot some peasants, in particular table one, <laughs> and anyone who has a birthday. <laughs> Dangerous. I know one of it, Hitler. Then we cut you out of the deal, and after the war you will get nothing. You will end up as a spaghetti inspector. <laughs> <laughs> you really think I could do Hitler good enough? Of course you will. You are a wonderful Hitler. Very yeah, wonderful. Think how exciting it was on the night of the concert when I introduced you. Gruber, give him your hat. Oh.
German army in the hour of their victory? No, my dear. Then you will obey me. Yes, my dear. I'll hit the left turn, quick march. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And quicker. Left, right, left, right, left, right, and quicker. Control myself, Edith. Mm. You have to put on your face all that lettuce and cucumber. <laughs> and the wearing says that I will be beautiful for you tomorrow. What is so great about tomorrow? What about tonight? Oh, I know what you mean. Or oh, I will take it off immediately. No, it's too late. Getting into bed with a mixed salad does not bring out any. <laughs> <laughs> does not bring out any the Casanova. <laughs> I would still taste the vinegar. <laughs> I expect it was the war. But the war has only been on two years. You have not made love to me since Czechoslovakia was invaded. As recently as that? <laughs> I must have been drinking. If there is anyone else, Rene, I will kill myself. Ow. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> Why are you dressed as Wingly Winky? I have for you an urgent message from Michelle. She wishes to see you. How could anyone expect my husband to get up at this time of night? Quite right. Michelle is outside. I came in first in case you were engaged in the nookie. <laughs> Delicacy of feeling, show her in. <laughs> Michelle! <laughs> I have for you the batteries that will come behind the bar. My eyes, they have seen 
the glory. Say <laughs> a long life ever already. I wish I was. Now listen very carefully. I will say this only once. I beg your pardon? Shut up. Hitler has changed his plan. He is coming by car. It will stop in the town square. While they are repairing the puncture to the tire, Hitler will visit the only cafe open in the square, which will be yours. Hitler is coming here. Huh? But how do you know he will have a puncture? We will break your empty bottles and put the glass in the square. While he's in the cafe, we will capture him. You are not capturing Hitler in my cafe. <laughs> I have a business to run. You don't mad or something? I have not finished. The guards will not know that we have spirited him away because someone looking exactly like Hitler will be sitting in the window of your cafe. And who, who is this master of disguise who will deceive the old German army before he's taken out and shot? You. <laughs> <laughs> Me? He's too fat for Hitler. Yes, I am too fat for Hitler. <laughs> You call him fat, and I am too old and too tall and I'm too scared. It is the ravings of a mad nun. I give you a simple answer. No, no, no. If you do not do this, you are no longer my husband. You see, already my actions are compensation. <laughs> I would reveal more, but there is no time. Then we must save the candle. <laughs> Sort of girl when you come in. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but you that sort of girl when you go kiss her your cheek and kiss her your ear. Let me kiss her your lips. Captain Alberto, I'm trying to eat my chocolates. I will make her them melt. <laughs> If there is any hanky panky in the back of, you will be shot. <laughs> <laughs> Which is you. <laughs> Please, let us pay attention. Oh, good. This is a nature thing. Nature? Nothing? No one. Oh, oh, look!
now March the 14th, and despite my persuasion, I have steadfastly refused to get involved in that insane plan to capture Hitler. So presumably, they are thinking of another plan. <laughs> business is brisk, especially monkey business. Better luck next time, monsieur. <laughs> Maybe. What do you mean, better luck next time? What have you been up to for the past two hours? We have been playing tiddlywinks. You couldn't get it in. No. He, he was probably using a wobbly wink. <laughs> She will sow this only wince. <laughs> and if you have refused to impersonate Hitler, you will place it instead inside the window of your cafe. A dummy of Hitler. The dummy is in this case, sir. The dummy of Hitler is in that case? That is correct. He must be a very little Hitler. It is a full-size dummy and made of rubber. <laughs> <laughs> you inflate him with a pimp or compressed ear. Here is a pimp. If the pimp or compressed ear fail, take this poop and use your broth. <laughs> <laughs> now I've seen everything. I will strangle him with my bare hands. I will spit on him. <laughs> yes, he'll spit on him when he's in the suitcase. When he comes through that door, he'll spit on the other side of your face. Michelle. I have one or two small questions to ask. Uh, how does a, a rubber Hitler get up and walk to the car to be driven down the road? Two members of the resistance will be disguised as German soldiers. They will walk him to the door pretending he has had too much to drink. You'll never get away with it. When Hitler comes through the front door, I go out the back. If you do, my people will shoot you. Come, we must commence the inflation. Not here. In the back room. Have you the broken bottles to put in the square? The answer bar, come. It is, do not get involved. All France is involved, striving to drive from a dear motherland to a cursed Bosch. Tonight will be more famous than the storming of the Bastille. She's been really Victor Hugo again. <laughs> Here, I broke the glass with my own hands. Long live France. Long live de Gaulle. Who? De Gaulle, the one with the big hotel. Go in. Where is he? He is in England, fighting for freedom. I hope he realises we're working our bums off for him over here in France. Now to put the broken glass in the square, I go like a phantom into the night. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't take long, did it? <laughs> I will go now to help with the blowing of the dummy. 
tight to the left with the blowing up of the dummy. Good evening, Jack. Good evening, Gilles. <laughs> If you take my advice, if you take my advice, you'll have one quick drink in Scarborough because all that stupid man. All hell is going to be break loose here tonight. Hello. It's started already. To the moment. Come in, come in. Thank you very much. <laughs> I should just sit over here. <coughs> I'm not speaking to you at the moment. Is that this all right? I said I should sit over here. <laughs> it has a bit of blood. It's got its feet. <laughs> it has. Shell's scheme is up to creep. Hitler has a puncture. I don't want to know. But I have a plan. <laughs> Could I have a drink? Your usual cognac? Oh yes, that's really lovely. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Ren. And Rene, while I'm here, intellectually, I have always thought that you and I have always seen eye to eye. And that is why I wanted to tell you a very important person is coming to your cafe this evening. Oh really? I had no idea. Who is it? Herr Hitler himself. Herr Hitler. And Rene, he will have with him, um... Mm -hmm. Who? Ah, Eva Braun, pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> no, Herr Goring. Herman Goring. Well, I never heard. And Hitler, um, Rene, you have never met Hitler or Goering before, have you? Not that I recall. Ah, good. Because, you see, not everyone looks exactly like their pictures in the papers. And you, you know what I mean. And Hitler, well, he's one of those. Hmm? <coughs> Pardon? Hitler, he's one of those. Oh, no, not another one. <laughs> Ellie, come quick, we're having trouble with the inflation. Inflation? What time, you know, prices keep going up. It's so difficult to make ends meet. Oh, don't I know it. <laughs> Maybe you look after that then, and so oh. What do you require? Ah, Mimi, uh, do you have a cigar? Of course, thank you. How about one of these? It is a new box. Oh, excellent, thank you. <laughs> the light? Ah, please. Versicle, I have a repair and outfart. Look at the
other French cafe owners are pumping up Italy in their pantry trying to find out where the wind is coming from. I have a tube of glee and some potches. Right. Well, officer, let's get his trousers off. 